Look at this. Look at this. This is the best we can do. Babe, this I is... actually have something to say in front of everybody before we get started. Now, guys, please make me understand. After you arrive from your trip, how long does it take you to unpack? Personally, I don't touch my suitcase. It stays there until I recover, even if it takes three weeks. I know where this is going. Pancho oh. unpacks immediately we get home. I even start the laundry because I just need to get it Why? out of the way. I, that's just how I'm wired. I need to start, I need to put everything away and just even wipe things and I'm done. I can't, I can't just leave it hanging there. Dirty clothes and stuff like this, I have to unpack. Yeah, you can unpack even after two weeks. So guys, which one are you? Do you unpack immediately or do you leave your suitcase there for a while? Finally, we unpacked. This one took us a while. Actually, this one took us a week. We took like a whole week to like our body to get adjusted and, and back to normal. Yeah, I'm actually, it took me so long and I, I don't think I'm mentally still here yet because it took so long to get into the rhythm of things. It's like a hungover. And every time I look at this stuff, I'm like, Man, I wish I were there still. Yeah, we had a very amazing trip to Lima, to Peru. It was my first time in Peru and let me tell you guys, we did a lot of shopping. This is nothing. There's other things that we have. We have not yet unpacked. There's a, there's a, there's a suitcase that has things. There's plenty here. So we want to show you what we brought from our trip in Lima. Personally, my highlight, my best, best place was in Cusco. If yeah. you haven't watched the video about Cusco, that was like, I just felt like I loved it. But yeah, I'm we... sorry you're from Lima and no, you probably think right. I will say, I enjoyed Lima more, but I enjoyed Cusco no, more. No, I did too, because I always love Cusco. But I wish we had, we didn't have enough time in Lima, that's the problem. No. So we couldn't enjoy it, she couldn't see everything or go out as much. It was just too much of a rush. You think you have enough time and then you don't. But we also had extended our stay in Cusco. Yeah. And was... why didn't we do that? Because! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure that's what she got from that okay. corner. All right, so we're going to start with drinkable things, right? This one is from Mama Juana. This is actually from the Dominican Republic. This stuff, let me show them. It's an aphrodisiac. It's lethal, guys. It's really strong because it has, it has herbs, it has red wine, it has rum. It has pieces of wood. <laughs> it has a little bit of everything. And I want Pacha to taste it and tell us what it tastes like. He has already drank some of it. Just see the face he makes. Oh, babe, come wow. on! <laughs> it's an aphrodisiac. So this one was not from Lima, from Peru. This was from um, Dominican. Dominican Republic, Punta Cana. Yeah, it's a famous drink. Then we have this, this thing called emoliente. This is packaged, but it's really a bunch of herbs, like yeah. yerba luisa, uh, canela. I saw something weird, though. In this, this is a tea. I saw something weird. The ingredient is uña de gato. Do you yeah, know yeah. what uña is, guys? Uña is nails. That's just the name. No, 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 no. How does it have cat nails? Explain it to me how uña de gato well, is. Well, it's like this. eggplant. Eggplant is it's an origin. No, but babe, what is it? It's what is uña de gato? Uña de gato, it's a, it's a plant that you use for medicinal purposes. In fact, it helps you combat cancer. You can search that up really easy. A lot of people have dealt with cancer, imagine. Famous, I don't believe famous. it. And then we have the, all these teas actually, we bought them in um, in Cusco. Mm. They have a lot of, they had a lot of herbal, natural stuff, you yeah. know. But these, it's mostly coca, no? Yeah, the coca. So these are coca leaves, see? And you just pour hot water and it's red. And then the coca, it was supposed, you take it when you, you have, it, ha it helps with the altitude because it's very high there, so you kind of feel sick. And then there's this coca candy. These are the candies with coca leaves. And you know, I thought like, I kept asking Punch, are you sure it's not cocaine? No, it would cost more. <laughs> it would cost because more. Because it was making you feel some type of way when you, when you take it. Mm. Then we have some Peruvian coffee. This is instant because Jojo likes it instant and <laughs> quick. <laughs> yeah. Then we have some Pisco, right? So The national drink of Peru. Yeah. Mwah. Pisco, this is a really nice one, Mosto Verde, um, but I also have one that was made, um, I don't want to say at home, but artisanal way from uh, my dad's side of the country. And it's right here with no label, but it's good. It looks like water, so if you visit us, don't just drink it. Then we have Peruvian wine, which is not all that famous, but it's okay. Because it is so weird though, no? And we can make Pisco sour with this Pisco. 
And then this one, this is all pancho. Spices. Yeah, this now you're gonna say, yeah, but pancho, you can find this in Italy, you can you find can. it in Spain. I know, so what? I still like it. And it costs less over there. Like, why would you? You know the thing is. Well, that one you can't find. I make food, I make food the way I make it. Do you understand? And then after I've made a nice dish of rice and beans or rice and chicken, Pancho goes ahead and pours these Peruvian spices. So I'm like, you can't even taste the Kenyanism in the dishes if you want to make every dish taste like a Peruvian dish. You know when something is really good and then it can be even better? It's like that. No, it's Just not like, like that. that. Babe. This one though, you can't find here. I. <laughs> Or anywhere Hi. near. You see, this one is called charapita. This is a really spicy, tiny pepper from the rainforest in the Amazon. That is crazy. And then there's this one. I, we didn't eat. This is a street food. I saw it. It was written turon. turon. Mm -hmm. I still don't know what turon is. It's we this. had We had, what is this called? The other one. Picarones. Picarones. Those were my favorite. Yeah. Those were my favorite. So what are these? They look like pancakes. Yeah, no. Yeah. These are made with flour. No, but they're, they're kind of hard. Um, uh, earthy flavor in your mouth with sweets on top and honey. It was a traditional um, Easter dessert, but now we have it all year long. And then this Doña Pepa. Mm -hmm. They are Just chocolates chocolate. with, with candy. You can tell that Peruvians eat a lot of chocolates and candy. You can also tell from the fact that all these are chocolates with lucuma. Lucuma, the best fruit. If and then a... pisco, pisco candy. But babe, I still, yeah, yeah but I don't like this lucuma candy. Be chocolates no. because I can't taste the lucuma. Lucuma, lucuma is supposed to be a fruit, but yes. I can't taste it. Bad yeah, because maybe the chocolate is too strong here. It's a very delicate fruit, like you. Oh, and then we have this. Let me tell you. This is a what is it called? April. An apron. And the matter of the fact of the matter is the matter you don't of <laughs> you don't is that I will never use. I just thought it would look nice hanged in the kitchen, but it's, it's really nice. It's good quality. Just to be like, you know, guys, um, I was in Peru and then I bought these, but in reality, I don't think I'll ever use it. Then we also have some salty stuff like these papas, amarillas, just, uh, just potato chips. Uh, we have many kinds of potato chips. They're so good. And these were nice, so they didn't last very long. We had others, but you ate them. We had like three packs of these potato chips. I don't know what they put in them, but they're so good. And then we have a nice scene from um, an artist we met in Cusco. Pretty, huh? But this was the va valley, sacred, sacred valley. Yes, but it's all in the Cusco region. Yeah, that's it guys. That's all we brought from, from our trip. The others are like souvenirs we brought for our family and friends, which we won't show you. So do you think like Pancho is, if, when I go to Kenya, I think I can also do the same thing and I bring a lot of stuff yeah. from Kenya. Oh, they will be all African hair products. By the way, that's how it's going to be like, if you want to try anything here, pisco mm -hmm. and, uh, and coca. <laughs> and coca. This coffee, I, I really don't, babe, I don't remember taking this coffee. Was it the one in your mom's house? Yeah. How was this tasting like? Did I take it? Mm, I don't remember. I don't think so. Peruvian coffee. Well, you know, you know, like Jennifer Lopez said, J-Lo said, if you know, you know. When did she say that? Ah, in some documentary she made. <laughs> <laughs>